Mustard, what is the worst thing a customer can do? So there's some pretty bad customers out there, but I think the two things that I talk about in this video are, well, probably the worst things possible that a customer at any fast food place could ever do. And there's a bonus one at the end, so make sure you stick around and listen to it and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So I think the worst thing that a customer has ever done to me before was refuse to leave the store. It was a night like every single other night where I was just kind of closing up everything and putting everything back into the refrigerator. But I had one customer that came into the store literally like two minutes before I planned on closing. And this customer, well, he ordered a sandwich that was pretty stacked and I had everything in the back. So I had to start bringing it back to the front. And he asked if he could just sit in the store and eat the sandwich. And it was like 930 at night. So I was like, you know what? That's fine. You can sit in the store while I close up, but you kind of got to leave in like five minutes if that's cool. And he completely agrees to it. He's like, yeah, I'll leave as soon as you need me to leave. It's no problem at all. And you know, there was a little bit of awkward time in between where I was like, I kind of want this customer to leave, but I don't want to be rude and be like, yo, please leave the store. But you know, I had somewhere to be. It was like 930 at night. I wanted to be home. I was going to meet up with some friends, do whatever I was going to do. So I kindly asked the person, I was like, hey, do you mind if I close up shop now? And he's like, oh yeah, sure, sure. No problem. No problem at all. But he just sat there. Like he didn't get up at all or even move a muscle. So I was kind of confused. And I was sitting there like, huh, I wonder if it kind of like rang with him, whether or not he has to leave. And so I did tell him like another time and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And he left right away. Now that's not too bad. All right. But I had another customer where she asked me to toast her sandwich. And this is the infamous that I burn her sandwich meme that I put up on my channel a few months ago. She basically told me toast the sandwich make it extra crispy and uh well after i threw it into the toaster oven and made it a little extra crispy she told me that i burnt her sandwich this sandwich was not burnt in any way ma'am i know for a fact because i literally clicked the button that we always click i actually under toasted it if anything but she insisted that the sandwich was burnt and wanted me to make her a brand new sandwich and i was pretty annoyed by this and then the real kicker that got me at the end was she asked me if she could keep the burnt sandwich. This sandwich wasn't burnt at all, was it? In that moment, I felt a little enraged, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bite my teeth. And I told her, nah, you're not gonna take this burnt sandwich. And so what I ended up doing was eating that burnt sandwich for myself and for like 10 million other people on YouTube to enjoy watching. So that was a pretty annoying case of uh, a customer that felt a little entitled. And don't get me wrong, a lot of customers aren't like this. But as an additional bonus story, I think one of the most annoying things I've ever had a customer do is they literally will spill their drink on the ground and never even clean it up or tell me about it. So I had a drink sitting on the ground for like an hour before realizing it. And well, let's just say that was one of the hardest messes I ever had to clean up.